If I may, gentlemen, please. Yes, Steve. Okay. Now then, Boyd, if, am I correct? Okay, now then, in not, it weren't the, not the most of these symbols derived from a lot of the North, Norse mythology. Am I correct? Absolutely. The symbol we use is based on the 13th rune, which is uh, sometimes referred to as the death rune in yes. Norse mythology. And it represents what Abraxas represents. It's the balance point between good and evil, creative It's the old yin and stuff. yang, it's the good and the evil, it's the swastika, it's that old principle of duality going back for millennia that Jesus Christ came to conquer Before by duality. destroying evil, by destroying evil through his death on the cross. It's duality with a balance. It's not cutting one off from the other. You can't cut Steve, off. I'm already for another break. What do you want to say to this guy? Hang in there, man. You with this guy? Wait a minute. Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. You tell me you're Jewish. Saddam I... Hussein indiscriminately lobbed Scud missiles on the Israeli state, and this guy says Hussein is a great man, and, and you tell me you're Jewish? I believe that the Palestinians have a right to exist. What's that got to do with this man saying Saddam Hussein was a great guy? I believe in many cases the United States is wrong. And, and Israel has been wrong itself in many times. Nobody is right all the time. But I don't know which of the two of you is more pathetic. Well, there's three of us here, Bob. <laughs> Good day, gentlemen. Good luck. Goodbye. Boy. Bob. You have on one of your flyers a swastika comprised of the image of Christ with one of his arms ripped off. That's not one of my flyers. That's a flyer put out by an organization called Axis Sanguinarius. Well, these are not like your friends or whoever? Yes, they're friends, colleagues, associates. In a nutshell, In a nutshell. your belief, Boyd, as a Satanist committed to war and bloodshed, is what? Is that the strong dominate the weak, and the clever dominate the strong. That's it absolutely in a nutshell. That's what social Darwinism is all about. But we have a situation today where the weak are dominating the strong. And we've had that situation for the past 2,000 years because I, I think you know why. Because of Christ. Because of Christ. Christ, that pile of garbage you refer to. Yes, that guy who says if somebody hits you on one cheek, turn the other that you should love your enemies, that you should do right to those who do wrong to you. The person who had absolutely no instinct. Instinct is what we're all about. Bring you, back the instinct. I have to take a break. I want to ask you a question. Last Friday in the Hope Line, we had a suicidal man call. We had a young woman wanting to overcome a childhood of sexual abuse. And a brother called for a sister who's addicted to drugs and neglecting her children. What do you want to do for them? I want to uh, let things take their natural course. If you weren't here for them, they would either stand by their own strength or fall by their own weakness. In the world of nature, that's how it should be. Well, we help these people. We have a hope line they can call. We have a data bank of helping agencies and organizations and individuals that they can turn to. You help them the way a drug dealer helps somebody who comes to them for a fix. It looks like help at the time. That's pathetic. Just moment, I think it's pathetic, too. Just a moment ago on the Hope Line, a battered woman who's being beaten by her husband, her life is in danger, and her two children, and she needs safe housing. And right now, she called moments ago, right now, behind the scenes, we are locating that safe housing for her. What would you do for her? I would tell her, get the hell away from that husband who's beating her. Or ask herself why she's staying that's there. That's a cheap answer. I don't think you're doing that's, anything. That's I don't think you're doing answer. anything positive to help that woman really get to safety. But we are. I don't want to help that woman get to safety. You do. One eight hundred eight two one talk. I'm taking calls today from you, uh, advocates of this philosophy of neo-Nazi occultism, as I call it, or fascist, social Darwinism, whatever you want to call it, Satanists. And those of you who have been victims of this sort of philosophy, I need three champions sharing gifts of $500 or more to help these people out who called on Friday that I mentioned. I need a hero for the hurting, 
sure to give a thousand dollars or more to reach out and help us help this woman and others like her who are being battered. And I'll tell you what I want. Those phone lines are practically dead. And I want you gutless, wimpy Christians to get out of your seats and go dial 1-800-223-CLUB. We are dealing with the devil, and we're taking the enemy head on. Whether you like to believe it or not, there isn't another religious broadcast in the country that would dare to do what we're doing today, that would have the guts to do it, and it's about time you appreciated it and dialed 1-800-223-CLUB. It did something to stand by me and sitting, instead of sitting there and pointing a finger and criticizing me. Get off your duff and do something and dial 1-800-223-CLUB and say, Bob, the real war is against the powers of darkness, and here's my financial commitment to stand by you. Bob will be right back to take your call. Go to the phone now and dial 1-800-821-TALK. Sometimes talkback donors can even shock Bob Larson with their gifts. One talk uh, today. We're talking about neo-Nazi Satanism and uh, specifically the Abraxas Foundation. Boyd Rice, who's the founder of that. How many people are in your organization? How many? How many are there of you, realistically? Just a handful. Just a We're handful. A think tank. We aren't an organization. We're You're a think, think tank. tank. Yeah. And I wouldn't call it a neo-Nazi Satanist. Well, it is. It is. That's an oversimplification. Come, well, you're fascist Satanists. You believe in death, the spilling of blood, war, murder. We don't believe it. It's just out there. Yeah. And it's out there more and more all the time. It's out there more and more every day. There's going to be a ton more of it. Soon. All right, all right, right. Terry in New York. Terry? Hi. What do you want to say, Terry? Well, unlike Steve that called early, look, I'm only 17. Yeah. I'm, like, just getting ready to go into college and stuff. I'm a black teenager. I'm a Christian. I'm trying my hardest to be. But it's people like this that not make me want to quit being a Christian, but they make me want to strive for being a Christian because it's people like this. I realize that there are so many people like this out in the world, and I have had to come up against prejudice, all right? And I don't need swine like this telling me and, my, and the future generations of this world that, that hate is the way to go. I do not agree with hating people. I do not agree. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying that what he said earlier about... I mean, I'm not saying that Americans are always right, and I'm not saying that... But I'm certainly not saying that Saddam Hussein is a hero. He is just as sick as this guy Boyd is, all right? Boyd? I am sick of hearing of this crap, okay? Yeah? And Don't you think some people deserve your hatred? It's not what I want to be. What? It's not going to prevent me from being what I want to be. Yeah. It encourages me, okay? Mm -hmm. So he can throw his darts at whoever he may, all right? But when they come to me, I am ready for them, okay? And I am sick of these little satanic games because they're not getting you anywhere. And the sooner you realize that you're going to hell when this is all over and the devil can do nothing for you and God is the only way hey. out, that's the best thing for you, all right, buddy? All right, so just... I mean, just cool it, okay? I'm not saying that people shouldn't think differently because if the world was, I mean, if cool. hey, hey, boy, you got something to say here? Hey, hey, boy, you got something to say to this? Yeah, don't you believe that some people deserve your hatred? Are there ever any people that have done wrong to you? In some circumstances, don't but, you think... See, you... when people do wrong to me, I'm ready. I put on the, the breastplate of righteousness, all right? I don't go and I don't spill blood and I don't do this... I don't Whatever spill else blood. you guys do, okay? Because I don't need that, okay? That is not the true way. Jesus is my way, and Jesus will always be my way because he is the only one that can keep me from going to hell like you will, and that's... Boy, this guy's... Can... This guy's... You met your match, boy. I have not met my match. <laughs> 